Hi, this is Dr. Sage Breslin, and this is Wisdom Wednesdays. You've got me in a little bit more casual attire today. Uh, just trying to be in the outdoors and uh, enjoy just a little bit of what nature has to offer. So one of the things I've been thinking about is that notion of muscle memory. And, you know, I guess when we think about muscle memory, we think about the physical muscle memory. We think um, about that idea of like, if you've ridden a bike, you'll always know how to ride a, a bike because you have muscle memory. Get on the bike, your legs start moving, boom, right? Muscle memory. There are other times where we use muscle memory and it might fail. And um, that I think we don't consider a lot of the time. Last year after my transplant, I, I developed a, a motor neuropathy and so I wasn't able to <clears throat> stand or walk on my own. And so little by little, I learned with the physical therapist how to use a walker and then I worked really hard in physical therapy to learn how to walk. And one of the things I noticed was, well, everybody noticed it, because I didn't have feeling in my feet, um, my feet would just sort of, you know, wing into one another and I'd be tripping on my own feet. And because my bone, par bone marrow at the time um, was very compromised, my bones were very fragile. So a fall could easily mean a break. And, uh, you know, I had a small fall, didn't think anything about it and ended up breaking my wrist. So I knew that I had to learn how to do things differently. And I thought, okay, what about my muscle memory can save me in this, in this circumstance? And I grew up as a dancer and I have duck feet. <laughs> you know, my, my toes would always be pointing out away from one another. And I asked the physical therapist, what if my body could trust what I trained it away from? I actually learned how to walk differently as an adult because, you know, people would make fun of the fact that my, you know, feet were like duck feet. So I learned how to walk, you know, straight, straight line. And uh, the physical therapist said, you know what, let's give it a try. And lo and behold, as long as I kept my focus on my feet being in that overwritten memory of duck footedness, I didn't trip. I moved straight with my feet pointed out, uh, you know, in a V fashion. <laughs> And so that was a place where I really could depend on my muscle memory to do the right thing for me and to keep me safe. However, there are different kinds of muscle memory. There's even emotional muscle memory. And that gets to be a bit more dicey. You can think about what happens in a relationship that's very unhealthy or toxic you might learn all of these tricks to keep your partner uh, happy um, or quiet or whatever. And, you know, little by little, you forget your own muscle memory. You forget your own truth. And the muscle memory you develop is the one to, that's based on this other person's truth. That's based on making sure that you do all the things you need to do to keep that other person happy or productive or quiet or, or whatever the cue is. So in that kind of muscle memory, it's actually not a safe thing for you. It feels safe at the time, but then as you move on, eventually uh, you, you get smart, you get healthier, um, your friends intervene, you get out of that relationship, but you've built this muscle memory, this emotional mus muscle memory about being in a toxic relationship and how to do it, you know, the routine. Yay for you, but not because it makes it easier to then choose another unhealthy relationship. So in that regard, we have to unlearn the muscle memory. We have to relearn or maybe even learn for the first time how to be in healthy relationship, how to think of ourselves, maybe even before someone else, 
how to ensure that our self-care is built into our day, how to make sure that we are focused on, you know, all of the things that allow us to be healthy, um, good, clear communication, and, uh, you know, staying with um, our truth no matter what other people tell us. So as you go throughout your day, you can think about the things that you've developed through muscle memory. Think about whether or not they've been healthy choices for you or not. So the theme of the day is muscle memory, to follow or not to follow. So my wisdom for the day is enjoy your intuition. It is muscle memory that will never, never steer you wrong. This is Dr. Sage Breslin.